Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So let's see what else we've got for you. I'm going to pull out 10 cards and we're going to see what's going on in your love life. Give me messages for my collective, please. We got the Emperor, Three of Cups, Six of Cups, High Priestess, Five of Wands. Ooh, what's going on? Y'all are dealing with some drama. What the fuck's going on here? Ooh, 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 ooh. Like, okay, so we got Three of Cups. And the Five of Wands, automatically, I'm seeing that there's someone here who's, like, extremely jealous of you. Like, what the fuck? This person's, like, obsessed with you. I think this is, like, someone who's obsessed with you. It's because, like, you could have been dealing with someone and, like, this person, your ex, is still thinking about you. Okay? This person wants reconciliation. And I feel like there is someone that your person had like a one night stand with or like a third party who's like insanely fucking jealous of you this person knows that you are the one who like like put your ex into motion and like made them who they are today like you you basically like changed your ex's life you know what i mean so i feel like you're just like that boss ass bitch i feel like you're the one that like people can never forget so I feel like there's like a new start here with someone in the past or someone from your past wants a new start with you. There's also something about your money here that's progressing. Like, I don't know if you guys are saving up for something or you're going to start a new job that's going to help you save more money in the near future. You may not even see this coming. Either way, guys, you guys have like a major blessing with your relationship and your career. Okay, someone here from the past is, like, completely fucking obsessed with you. Like, it's, like, literally screaming in your reading right now. On the back, yeah. This person's going to give you some type of clarity. Like, if you had this situation with your person where they left you, like, without closure, or it's like you're wondering what this person is doing, this person's going to reach out to you. All right, let's see what else is going on. more messages for my collective please damn i feel like you guys like make people turn their head like jealous people and like people who admire you Yeah, you definitely have people, like, conflicted. Now you have 10-10. Ten, ten. 10 of Wands, 10 of Swords. Okay, I feel like someone from your past is, like, highly, like, stressed out over you. They know that they, like, betrayed you in some type of way. Or it's, like, things didn't work out the way you wanted it to with that Five of Swords. I feel like you're dealing with someone who, like, struggles expressing their emotions. And I feel like this person's trying to keep themselves busy with work, okay? They're really, really trying to occupy their mind and their thoughts about you with work. They literally don't give a flying fuck about this third party. I feel like you might be wondering, does this person even think about me? Do they still miss me? Are they more into this new person or are they dealing with anyone? Like, no, this person is literally stressed out. There's like someone who's like constantly trying to get their attention and it's not working. And that makes this person so fucking pissed. So like you're like suspicious of this person. Like you don't trust this person from your past. You could have put more effort into the relationship than they did. And I feel like your person is highly like, like they regret not putting in enough effort. This is what I'm seeing. All right, I'm going to pull out eight more cards.
you guys are really focused on your money right now. Like, y'all are not fucking playing. And this third party loser keeps popping out. It's like, I feel like this person is creeping you. This person is like keeping tabs on you and they're seeing like what you're doing. They're like wishing ill intentions on your career, on your relationships. Um, I feel like you think that this ex of yours fears commitment and that's why they're not reaching out, but that's far from the, like, like that's not what is going on here. Um, I feel like your person is just like focused on their money right now. And so are you. Like I'm seeing that in your situation too, but you think that this person doesn't give a shit about you and that's not happening here. That's not what it is. I think this person is trying to think, is there still a possibility with you? And they're still contemplating whether or not they, they should reach out. This person is going to reach out and I feel like this person wants to express to you how much um, more effort they would put in if you gave them a chance. So that's where that six of pentacles comes in. They want to put more effort. They want to plan long term with you. I think when this person comes back, you're going to be kind of shocked because you're going to see this person like in a different light. This person like worked really hard, especially financially. Like, they could be, like, saving up for something to buy you, even. They could be, like, saving up, like, large purchases. Um, even, like, a house, right? And I feel like this person's, like, preparing uh, before they pursue you, basically, okay? So there is definitely a change in the near future. A sudden uh, message coming in from your person in the past. Okay, this person worked really hard to improve on themselves so they could get you back into their life. So that's my reading for you guys, and I'll follow up with you in the next reading.